With the recent signing of Memorandum of Understanding MOU by the Nigeria government and some European countries to return artifacts to their place of origin, some members of Edo Social Cultural Group has called for the seamless return of Bini artifact that was taken from the kingdom during the 1897 invasion by the British Army. The call was made at a one-day symposium organized to mark the 126 years anniversary of the invasion of Beni Kingdom by the British Army. Speaking, individuals at the event lauded some European countries who have agreed to return some of the artifacts be able in their country, while others spoke on the importance of the symposium to the preservation and protection of the cultural heritage of the people. Those who are aware, the efforts that have been put in place to ensure that these artifacts will return. I'm happy for the willingness on the part of the European government to, as at this time, to be willing to release those artifacts. And in releasing those artifacts, to go a long way, especially on the part of the students, in studying those artifacts, the be to reconstruct the historical narrative of our past. I want to talk about uh, the artifacts. Like in my country, Belgium, we have a lot of artifacts with the museum. Scout and UPGB. Coming uh, September 22 and 23. Of this year, we are having international conference on anti-human trafficking, irregular migration, and the returning of our artifacts in Belgium. I am here today in the great and cultural history of the British Kingdom, by the invasion, the first invasion of the British in uh, 1897, of how we be so, how they fought for us, how they fought for us to protect our great history of the how we as our present age now fight to return our artifacts. And uh, this uh, symposium is organized as a way to reach out to our young people, as a way to prepare their mind, as a way to agitate for the attention of our artifacts that was taken in the Our organization, the KJB, we are also appropriating uh, Osunde Masi, reporting from Crusader TV News, Benin.